Mad Alliance was howling because Joe, aka Mad Joe of C. So we got a lot of images, official images for Captain Marvel. So I actually had no clue about this until earlier today. It was announced yesterday, actually, but I wasn't really on social media too much yesterday, so I didn't, I didn't even know this was happening until earlier today. And I was already out and about doing stuff, you know. Um, so I get home. And, yeah, we got all this Captain Marvel stuff. When I got me a haircut, and I'm rocking the Star-Lord pork chops. Yeah, I can do pork chops. Um, So, yeah, I get home, and I, I see all this stuff. And I'm like, whoa, oh, my God. So, I actually haven't seen any of it, though. I just went on social media, and I saw all these articles and stuff. Saying, oh my gosh, Captain Marvel stuff images Captain Marvel. But I haven't seen any of it yet, so I'm hyped for this. So I thought I would do a video sharing with you guys my initial thoughts on an initial first look on all the stuff. And I've already pulled up some of the articles and stuff. Uh, just because there's a lot to see and I don't want to have to wait for everything to load and all that. Uh, so yeah, the first thing... I'm going to check out is the official entertainment cover showing off Captain Marvel's suit. Uh, let's see. Best, the best look yet at Captain Marvel has officially arrived. The upcoming Marvel Studios venture and its star Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, are the focus of the latest issue of Entertainment Weekly with a cover that you can check out below. Let's see this. Let's see this. Oh, guys. Oh, she's got the, the... Oh, my God. Guys. I was already hyped for this movie. I'm now... Hype, hype for this movie. Guys, they even... The, the, the effects? Guys. Yo. Oh, my God. Let's check this out. Guys. That looks good. That looks good. That, and we had already saw like, you know, set photos and stuff. But this is where the suit was green when the set photos. But this is, you know, an edited cover and stuff. And I'm pretty sure those are the colors of her suit as well. And the set photos where it was green, I'm pretty sure there's a reason for that. Um, but these are going to be the colors of the suit. You got the sparkling gold. It, it looks just like it. It looks just like it came right out of the comics. Okay. The star, the shiny gold, the bright red and blue, the like really, really bright red and blue. Okay. In her, the I don't know exactly what it's called, but you know her things, and she's in that pose that. Don't mess with me, I'll wreck you pose. Oh my gosh. Man. That looks good. And the, I mean, the, the, in the set photos of the suit, it was kind of baggy and stuff. I was hoping it would be a bit more skin tight. Um, not that I'll be focusing on that, but I mean, you know, it was, I, just, I noticed it was a bit baggy, so I was hoping it would be more fitting, you know, in the final product. So, this looks amazing. And I'm actually okay. I'm actually liking the kind of short to the shoulders hair. And because um, I think Captain Marvel, I think she looks really cool with the kind of buzz cut look. You know, um, kind of not exactly a mohawk, but I guess kind of like her hair swirled up, I guess. Kind of not exactly a buzz cut either. But you guys know what I'm talking about if you've read the comics, you know. Um, I, I really like that hairstyle. But in this image, I'm liking the short to the shoulders hair. I think it looks pretty good. Man, this looks good. I'm hyped for... Thanos! If anyone's going to be able to stop Thanos, it's Captain Marvel. I can already tell just by this one. She has the... What are they called? What's it called? The her power. 
I don't, it's not binary. She isn't going binary in this image. Um, but man, I right, we have a lot more to look at. We have a lot more. Uh, yeah, I think we have like, I don't know how many images we got. Here's another image right here. Uh, sorry about that. that was my notification. All right, yeah. So the here we have like a first look image of pretty much like a scene from the movie. What we can expect, assume to be a scene from the movie. What we just saw was the entertainment cover. This is actually a in film shot of the suit, and it it looks amazing. Okay, it looks amazing. It's fitting. The colors pop. You know the shiny gold star. You got that going on. Um, there's no way you could tell what's going on from the photo. I guess he, all I can assume is she's looking at probably some foe just by her stance and her face. Yeah. It's amazing. Whoa, okay, let's... So, hold up. Whoa, so that's why it was green. So that's why it was green. So that wasn't a mistake or nothing. Or, I mean, that that wasn't just for behind the scenes or set photos. Huh. That's the dude from Guardians of the Galaxy 1. The black dude at the back of the crew walking up. What was his name? I can't remember his name. Um, but the dude who confronted Star-Lord, you know? That's Ronin! That's Ronin, too! I mean, I knew they were going to be in the film, but I didn't... I, 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 I didn't expect to see them in the first look image. So we got Ronin. We got the dude who confronted Star-Lord. And we got Carol Danvers in the green outfit. Now, I know that's a thing in the comics, so that's cool. And the rest of her crew. Um, I, I'm not sure what the crew's called. I don't know what the crew's called. Uh, is there maybe? Yeah, okay, okay, so. Hold up. I need to become sophisticated, Joe. Even though these glasses are way too small for me. Okay, the film sidesteps the traditional origin story template, and when it begins, Carol already has her powers. So she already has her powers when the film starts, even though it's an origin story, but it's not the traditional origin story. Wow. She's left her earthly... What? Whoa. So she's not even living on Earth. She's left her earthly life behind... To join the elite military team Star Force on the Kree planet of Hala. Okay, so that's Star Force. Team Star Force. Its members include Carol, Korath. That was that's the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy, Korath. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. So, thing is, they're com so this dude who confronted Star Lord, he used to be on this Star Force team. Okay. And they're confronting Ronin. I have no clue why they're confronting Ronin. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh. Let's see. Okay, so this next one is just a uh, more not too much going on really. Carol Danvers in just a uh, kind of like tracksuit, I guess. Uh, and who's this? Jude Law plays the commander of Star Force, who views Carol as a mentee in pet project. Wow. Quote. These extraordinary powers she has. He sees them as something of a blessing, 
and something that she has to learn how to control, Law says. Thus a motive throughout the piece, the element of learning to control one's emotions and to use your powers wisely. Okay, so this commander of the Star Force just... Captain Marvel was kind of like just his guinea pig, his science project. You know, he wants to... He wants her to explore these powers of hers. He wants to learn about these powers that she has as well. That's cool. Cool. Okay, so this is definitely the Kree. Wow! The film also introduces one of Marvel Comics' nastiest and most notorious baddies, the Skrulls. Ben Middleson plays their leader, Talos. Seen here in all his bright green glory, but he's got another face, too. Okay. Wow, that looks good. That looks really good. I'm glad that is makeup and practical effects. I appreciate that. That looks good. Wow, nice attention to detail. I don't know why they're coming out from the sea. Now I don't really know what's going on in this image. But they look good. Yeah, I have no clue what's even happening here. As any Marvel Comics fan knows, the scrolls are... Those are scrolls. Holy crap! As many Marvel Comics fan knows, the scrolls are especially dangerous because of their unparalleled ability to shapeshift. Yeah! On Earth, Middleson's Talos goes undercover as a, as a human working within S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh my god! The Scrolls infiltrated S.H.I.E.L.D. Back then! Oh my god! Guys, this is hype! Oh my god. This just expands the lore and stuff of the MCU. So they, the, the S.H.I.E.L.D. has been infiltrated by Scrolls, Not just Hydra, Scrolls. Wow. Here's Ronan again, and the commander of uh, Star Force. MCU fans have met the Kree race before in Guardians of the Galaxy in two familiar faces. Hansu's Korath and Lee Pace's Ronan the Accuser will appear in Captain Marvel. In Guardians, Ronan is an outcast with extremist views, but here he's still a high-ranking member of Kree society. Okay. Yeah, in Guardians he was, you know, kind of an outcast, but here he has, he's a high-ranking officer, member. Okay. He still has the staff, but no power stone in it. Because this is before that, you know. Hey! That's, yeah! Yeah! Back on Earth in the 90s. Back to, back, back, back on Earth. The nine, 1990s are in full swing. Expect plenty of era-appropriate references in fashion, judging by Carol's 9-inch nails t-shirt. Yeah, she's got the jacket. She's got the leather jacket. Yeah, boy. That's cool. Let's go. Let's go. Samuel L. J. Nick Fury with both eyes. And low cut. Not bald, low cut. Captain Marvel marks Samuel L. Jackson's ninth appearance as Nick Fury, but this Nick is a lowly shield desk. Whoa! This is before Fury became a high ranking officer in shield. Nick Fury. But this Nick is a lowly shield desk jockey who hasn't yet met any superheroes. He's younger than we've ever seen him. Jackson was digitally de-aged for the role. Looks good. And perhaps most shocking of all, he's missing his signature eye patch. Wow. He looks good. The digital that was good. 
Wow. Man. Just a low desk shield jockey who hasn't met any superheroes yet. Mr. Stark, you think you're the only superhero out there? You're just part of a bigger world, but you just don't know it yet. This all came from Captain Marvel. Wow. Hey! Even before she became Captain Marvel, Car Carol was an accomplished Air Force pilot, and Larson spent time with actual pilots for research. That's dedication. That's dedication. Wow. So I'm assuming we'll be, be seeing Carol um, in fighter jets going at it, duking it out. Maybe in a flashback or something. I don't know. Wow. I mean, yeah, the whole film is a flashback, but you guys know what I mean. Maybe we'll get a flashback before she got her powers. Even though the film starts out with it. Maybe we'll at least get to still see in a flashback how she got her powers. Okay, who's this? The film also introduces Lashana Lynch as Marta Rambeau, one of Carol's oldest friends. She's a top-notch Air Force pilot with the call sign Photon, and she's also a single mother to a young daughter. Okay, I have no clue who this Maria character is. But, excited to see her in the film. Yeah, that's it. This movie's gonna be fantastic. This movie... Guys. She's going to be the strongest hero within the MCU. That's been confirmed by Kevin Feige. Okay. I was already hyped for this movie. Because it's Captain Marvel. Okay, it's Captain Marvel. I was already hyped. Now, seeing the suit, the full suit, seeing Nick Fury, seeing uh, Ronan and Koroth return, seeing the Kree, I mean the Scrolls, know it's knowing new stuff where Nick Fury first was in S.H.I.E.L.D., knowing that the Scrolls have infiltrated S.H.I.E.L.D. in the past. Guys, I'm hype. Okay? Let me know what you guys think of these images. And let me know how excited you are for Captain Marvel. I cannot wait for this film. And I can't wait. I just can't. I can't wait to see her, her skill set, her powers in action. Okay? Stronger than the God of Thunder. Stronger than Scarlet Witch. She will be the most powerful hero within the MCU. Now we just need a trailer. But for now, these images do just fine because I just wanted to see the suit, to be honest. I can't wait for this. That's it, though, guys. Uh, let me know what you think of these images. If you enjoyed my video, my initial first look at uh, these images from the film, let me know what you thought. Links to all my social media will be down below in the description box. Matt, smash the like button. Share this video with anyone you feel would enjoy. If you are new around here and you like what you see, tap the subscribe button and ding down the notification bell to join the Mad Alliance on our journey to 100,000 subscribers. Just notice I got my glasses on. No more sophisticated job. My name's Joe, AK Mad Joe C. I hope y'all have a marvelous day. Mad out, mad, strong, together.